my lovelies it's lunar light tarot welcome back to my channel hi if you're new i am so honored to have you with me here today so you guys saw that title of course today's reading is all about the signs you will see when you meet the person you're going to marry okay so in front of me i have these three piles it might seem kind of random but i thought of them as kind of like activities so in the first pile we have pajamas and pizza um so pick this one if you'd like you know a nice quiet night at home with your loved one now eating pizza in your pajamas then we have kitchen and cheesecake. So pick this one if you'd like to bake with your future spouse and make cheesecake with them. That sounds like a fun night. Or if you're more of the adventurous type, we have Tokyo and beer. So pick this pile if you'd like to get a beer in Tokyo and basically travel around with your future spouse. And of course, guys, there's always the OG reading at the end. So make sure to check that out. That is where we ask a question that's a little bit different from what's going on here. We're going to ask, what will the dynamic between you and this person be like? And also, when will you meet them? Okay, I have a die uh, with a, lots of sides, eight sides. And we're going to um, just roll that to see how long it might take me to meet this person. Okay, other than that, I've got my charms here. I've got my um, romance angels cards. If you're still watching this part of the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Also follow me on TikTok for your daily videos. And all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the piles, okay? I'll see you there. Bye. Hey there, pal number one. If you'd like to eat pizza in your pajamas with your future spouse, this is your reading, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know who wouldn't want to do this, so we've probably got a lot of people in file one. Um, if you're here in this part of the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up to just acknowledge that you got a reading today. I'd really love that. And I said I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into your messages now. Okay, so we have the 10 of cups starting off. So when you meet this person, there's going to be an overwhelming sense of just happiness, okay? You and this person are going to click right off the bat. I see you guys like cracking jokes, making each other laugh. Um, also with the 10 of cups, you guys could be, you know, out drinking. This could be someone you meet at a bar, someone you meet at events where there are drinks, or someone you even meet at a celebration. This could be a celebration like a wedding, graduation, um, you know, someone's birthday, things like that. You can meet this person at an event or an event where people are drinking and having fun and, and celebrating, okay? Then we have the Page of Swords. You're actually going to know about this person a little bit before you meet them. Um, this could be a friend uh, setting you up or something. This is someone you've actually heard about before, okay? Maybe in passing or things like that. So that's a sign about who they are, okay? There's someone that people have opinions about. Um, there's someone that people respect is what I'm getting and that they talk highly of okay and then we have the wheel of fortune um this is kind of a two-fold message this is like if you are out at an event with this person when you first meet them the time is going to fly by okay it's going to feel like you guys time jumped because it was just you know you're having so much fun okay time is whizzing by um also what i'm getting is that when you hear about this person you're going to feel like wow this is maybe a good time for me to meet them or you know it's time for me to have someone like that in my life okay you're going to feel like this person is probably someone good for you and that it's a good time for you to meet them maybe okay when this happens we also have the four of pentacles in reverse this is somebody who doesn't hold on to grudges somebody who is very accepting very light-hearted if you were to say something you know embarrassing around them or if you had like social anxiety they'd really just be able to you know accept you and calm you down they don't really they don't judge anybody they really withhold judgment and they are somebody who's very generous with their money as well. So if you guys do go to an event, um, for those of you who are um, above the drinking age, of course, if they, you know, they might buy you a drink or something like that, they might, you know, get you a gift. Um, yeah. Hmm. Or if it's someone's birthday party, they got them a great gift, okay? Then we have windfall, success, sudden money, and point proven, okay? So again, this person will probably have a good amount of cash on them, probably a good amount of money. Um, they're, they're not going to be the type to like flaunt it, but they're going to see that they don't really care to, you know, uh, keep it to themselves or like they, they don't have really have a problem with spending money if it comes down to that. So you're going to see that they're probably very successful, 
And again, with success, um, this could be, you know, you, you, met, you meet them at a place where we're celebrating successes, again, like a graduation or any kind of celebration, okay? We have, you're my ideal person. Again, the gossip about this person is going to be that they're ideal for you. I'm really getting that this could be like a friend set up, you know, someone told somebody that you, you two would be great together and they're trying to make something happen, okay? So yeah, but this person can say this to you as well. All right, then we have resolution, relief, conclusion, moving on, soon to be in the past. Okay, uh, what I'm getting is that this is going to be a brief encounter for the first, you know, the first time you guys meet. You might exchange numbers or something like that, but what I'm really getting is it's going to be um, pretty brief. And it's actually going to be a little bit relieving because this person's energy is going to be pretty intense. I'm actually getting that you might be a little bit nervous around them, but that's just because they are so awesome and you uh, really want to hit things off with them, okay? So let's go ahead and continue. What are the signs that pound number one will see when they meet their future spouse? What are the signs that pound number one will see? Here we go. We have attraction, okay? Yes, you're going to be very attracted to this person. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. Again, you're my ideal person. You're going to be very, very attracted to this person. This person is going to be very, very attracted to you. So it's so it's mutual is what I'm trying to say, okay? What are the signs? Okay, what do we have here? <laughs> Trust, okay? This situation is calling for you to have faith. Yes, this person really is going to give you an innate sense of trust, okay? Again, with this four pentacles in reverse, they are someone who is so accepting. They're so open-minded. You know, they're very sweet. They're very caring. And it makes you want to trust this person. And that could be why it's even like a relief to get away from them because you're like, oh my God, I'm having feelings already. I need to take a break, okay? But yeah, um, this person is going to, you know, be very trustworthy. It's going to be very easy for you to place your trust in them, okay? Then we have, exactly, guys, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and to give and receive the highest energy of all, okay? Guys, exactly what I'm saying. This person is going to be safe for you to love. It's going to be very easy to trust them, okay? Very easy to open up to them. They're just that kind of person, okay? So let's go ahead and wrap things up with the charms here. You guys, be sure to check out the OG reading if you want to get some information about when you're going to meet this person. And be sure to give this video a like if you have not already. Okay. Let's see the charms. What are some of the signs that pile number one will see when they meet their future spouse? Okay. You have two stars, a sea star and a regular star. <laughs> uh, watermelon, cactus, and this like harmony charm. To me, this is about harmony. I'm going to raise this up to the camera so you guys can like see them more. But yeah, okay, so what I'm getting with this, you guys could really meet them on a night out, okay? Something where there is a lot of stars around. And when you do, you can come together, you guys are going to really get a stick like glue to one another, okay? Once you once you kind of meet, it's really going to like take off from there. Again, that instant connection, okay? Uh, with this circle charm, this is kind of about like balance and harmony and a connection. So I really do feel like you guys are just going to, you know, hit it off really well. And even if you are someone who's a little bit prickly, I feel like you might be someone who is, you know, uh, not... You, you have your guard up, you know, you have boundaries, okay? You have standards. But this person is really going to surprise you with how unique they are, okay? And it's going to actually make you want to open up to them more. Because um, this is kind of funny because you have this sliced watermelon. It's almost like this person is going to like slice right through you, you know, slice right through that, that right through those walls, okay? And um, it's not really something that they like intended to do. It's just something that, you know, is very natural because they make you feel safe is what I'm getting, okay? That's super lovely. All right, I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. Those are chose pile number one. Uh, I thought it was really nice. If you did like it, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this. Be sure to check out the OG reading that is coming up at the end of the video. That will be all about your dynamic with this person and also when you're going to meet this person. So be sure to check that out. Other than that, if you want a personal reading from me, I would love to help you out. Go ahead and look at my description box, and that is where all my um, services are and also my testimonials. And those are real testimonials from my clients, um, unedited, that are, um, you know, their reactions to the readings, which I've gotten, you know, permission to do. Alrighty, I hope that you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next one, okay? Bye! 
Hey pile number two, if you chose kitchen and cheesecake as your word slash activities, this is your reading. I mean, who wouldn't wanna cook cheesecake in the kitchen? Unless you're a lactose intolerant, I guess you might wanna, wanna do it then. Okay, um, yeah. Be sure to give this video a like if you've gotten this far, to acknowledge that you've got a free reading today. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get into your messages, okay? So we have the Page of Pentacles and also the Eight of Cups. I feel like when you're meeting this person, you're going to be, uh, you're going to feel like you're getting an opportunity. Either you are actually getting opportunity in life at the same time, or you're going to feel like maybe this person was very opportune, okay? So to break that down a little bit further, I'm really feeling like this is money related, okay? Some of you at this time you're meeting this person will be walking away from a job after receiving a different job offer, okay? You might be celebrating that or something and you meet this person, all right? For some of you, it's that you may have walked away from kind of like a situation with somebody else um, or and you're, and you're meeting this person. And for another group of you, it's just that you meet this person and you guys might, um, you might, it might be a short meeting and you guys separate afterwards. I know there's a lot of groups, but that's what I'm getting there. Um, yeah, actually for most of you, I'm getting that you're going to meet and it's going to be kind of short. And then the next thing you know, you cannot stop thinking about this person. You're going to be like, oh my gosh. That was so intense. I didn't expect to actually, you know, meet somebody who was so cool, so interesting. And you're going to be thinking about them for a while. They're going to be thinking about you. Um, and you guys are going to like, just try and find a way to meet up. Um, if you, it's either going to be someone who's actually from your past. And that could be why, you know, this person really, you know, the meeting really affects you. That's only for some of you though. Um... Other than that, I'm getting that this person is going to feel like you've known them before, okay? And that's why the meeting is going to be so intense. So look out for a very intense meeting, and then it was just kind of short, and afterwards, you're going to be thinking about them, okay? Then we have, your success intimidates me. So that goes back again to those of you who are getting like a new job or anything like that. Or this person could be very successful, okay? This person is probably going to be intimidated by your success is what I'm getting though. And they're going to make a big deal out of how you are a big deal, okay? Then we have, will we ever reunite? Again, I'm getting this meeting is going to be short. This, okay, it goes for either, either or, you know, either you, you know this person or, you know, you guys separated after a short meeting and they're trying to reunite with you again, okay? Then we have a messed up and now I'm really explaining the consequences. Um, again, this goes for all of you. Even if there's someone from your past and they did mess up, yeah, they're wanting to get back together with you, you know, for your future spouse. Or um, this could be, you know, someone new that you meet and they messed up by not getting your number or something, they messed up by not getting your contact and now they're thinking about you and want, you know, in, you in their lives, okay? I hope that made sense. All right, I know that's kind of like convoluted, but yeah, that's what I'm getting. You guys probably won't have a way to contact each other um, after you first meet unless you know one another, okay? And even then, it'll be a little bit, how do I approach this, okay? So let's go ahead and continue. What signs will pound number two see when they meet their future spouse? What signs will pound number two see when they meet their future spouse? Okay, we have retreat. There we go. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yes, guys, that's what I'm saying. So when you meet this person, it's going to be a brief meeting, and then you're going to retreat and really, really think about this, okay? It's going to be on your mind a lot. Yeah, what are the signs? Then we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life, okay? Yeah, spirit, this is also a warning, but also, you know, what's going to happen. So, yeah, um, once you go into your retreat, you're going to be thinking about this person a lot. Like, this be, just be careful not to tie your happiness to seeing this person again or things like that. You know, that's where the codependent part comes in. But you're really going to be yearning for this person from afar. Like, really yearning, okay? That's, that's a big part of the message, okay? What are the signs that pound number two will see when they meet their future spouse? Okay, then we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, okay? That's very interesting. And again, this goes for both situations. Either you know this person or you don't. But yeah, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I'm feeling like this person, when you first meet them or when you talk to them again, is going to be a really deep conversation that you two have. And it's actually going to make you think about them a lot. Like, it's going to be a short meeting, but very, very impactful, okay? So yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, what signs will pile number two see when they meet their future spouse? Okay. 
That's very interesting. Okay, we have an elephant. This charm that I associate with being fancy. <laughs> a cross. Another fancy charm. <laughs> I literally think these are just like fancy charms. Um, this one I associate with being a gift. Steps and a kiss. Wow, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is that your meeting is going to include a lot of wisdom, okay? This person is going to share a lot of wisdom with you, possibly to talk about spirituality with you, maybe not overtly, but they're gonna talk about life lessons and things like that, okay? Especially when it comes to money, they might be praising you for you know the money you have, how fancy you've become, if you, if you don't already know them, or how well you two kind of like match together. Either way, someone's going to be a little bit intimidated by their success, but it's also going to be very attractive, okay? Just know that. Um, so once you two kind of separate, it's going to feel like it was a gift, this encounter, and that you really want to take steps to meet this person again and to like, you know, have that special one with them to kiss them, okay? So yes, your signs, look out for a really intense, short meeting um, with someone that you can't stop thinking about afterwards, okay? Those are the signs of when you meet your future spouse. All right, I really hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And guys, be sure to check out the OG reading, which at the end of this reading, that's what we're talking about, what the dynamic between you and this person is going to be like. And also, we're going to get a timeline for when you'll meet them. So be sure to check that out. Uh, for others of you, if you'd like to get a personal reading from me, I would love to help you out. Go ahead and look at my description box. And that's where I have my services and my testimonials link. You can see what people are really saying about these readings. Those are unedited, unprovoked reactions, okay? So yeah, go ahead and check that out if you are interested. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you in the next one, okay? Bye. Hey pile number three and welcome to your reading. If you'd like to travel to Tokyo and grab a beer with your spouse, this is your reading, okay? You guys must be some adventurous souls out here. All right. Um, if you guys got this far in the reading, be sure to give it a thumbs up just to acknowledge that you got a free reading today. That'd be amazing. Uh, this, this honestly seemed like one of the best piles. Don't tell the other piles that, but... <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and get into it, okay? The Four of Wands in reverse. So we already talked about travel, okay? Unless, unless you actually live in Tokyo, this is gonna be like traveling to Tokyo, right? So what I'm actually getting with the Four of Wands in reverse is that you could actually meet this person while you're traveling, okay? Mind you, I picked these before I did the cards, so I was kind of surprised to have this come out. But anyway, this, the circumstance around this is going to be that your world is a little bit topsy-turvy when you meet this person, okay? You could be moving someplace different. Um, you could, you know, be in a new town, a new place. You could be traveling. You could be going on vacation, anything like that. But especially moving, especially moving um, is when you're going to meet this person, okay? Let me have the Two of Cups. When you do actually meet, it's going to be an instant connection, okay? I'm talking like long lost lovers, Romeo and Juliet kind of stuff, okay? Like you two are really good, just gonna melt into each other is what I'm getting. And then pretty much immediately, you're kind of expecting something to happen after that, okay, after the meeting. Three of Wands here. You're kind of looking forward to, you know, something happen between you, expecting a call, things like that. Okay, then we have the death card here. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like once you meet this person, you're really spending life to change, okay? You're just kind of seeing that I, you, you're really feeling the change in the horizon and you might actually really know either from this reading or, you know, from life circumstances that this person is going to be a future spouse and you just, you just know, you have that feeling, okay? So speaking of reaching out, we have, I will reach out to you soon. Expect a call or text, okay? So you and this person are really on the same page when it comes to what to do next, okay? You both really want to reach out to each other. You both want to talk to another, one another. We both want to start building something basically as soon as you both meet, okay? Then we have, yes, this person is your soulmate. We just have these two hearts. Um, I, only, I only put hearts on two cards and you got them both, okay? So, yeah, this person is going to be your soulmate. You have the Two of Cups and the soulmate card. So, you and this person are going to have an instant, instant connection. You're going to know that this person is your soulmate pretty soon after meeting them. Or you're just going to have that feeling like, you know, you've known them before. That there's a really deep connection there, okay? Most of that is spiritual, in tune, 
divinely connected messages nature so yes if you do get the message very soon after that you two are soulmates just believe it because i'm really getting that you're going to be very in tune at this time as well this isn't desperation this isn't wishful thinking this is literally you tapping into the energy of what's happening between you two and also observing the effort that's being put in on both sides okay it's going to be equal all right so let's go ahead and get into the romance angels cards for pile number three what are the signs they'll see when they meet their future spouse trust beautiful trust the situation is calling for you to have faith okay yes this person you're really going to be able to trust them like right away and it's not that they've like proved themselves or anything yet they probably have not if you just met them but they just seem very trustworthy you know they're very open-minded they're kind of like an open book they're very sweet i'm really getting that you're gonna you're gonna feel this feeling of trust like a mutual trust between you two when you first meet okay it's one of the other signs whoa oh my gosh guys soulmate again that's nuts i you just saw them fly out like i i can't even say anything else that's so that's nuts i love that um soulmate yes this person is your soulmate literally we have it twice we have it three times okay i only have three sets of cards here we have all three talking about soulmates so yes when you meet this person you're going to recognize almost instantly that they are your soulmate that is amazing i'm getting literal chills okay then we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your animal self to yourself to each other, your bond deepens, okay? Yeah, this person is gonna really want to get to know you. You guys are going to just immediately come together and kind of from then just walk hand in hand into the future, is what I'm getting. Like this person is gonna to want to get to know you. Once you meet them, life is gonna change, okay? It's just immediately life is going to change. This person is going to put in a lot of effort. Um, it's going to be a straight shot to marriage, is what I'm getting. It's not gonna be, you know dating on and off or in and out and them traveling and you know whatever it's really going to be a solid solid partnership is what i'm getting let's go ahead and check out your charms now what are the signs that pile number three will see when they meet their future spouse what's that okay oh my god look at this like um heart with a lock that's so cute Guys, I never look when I'm choosing the charms. I just take them. We have this elephant charm. Talks about wisdom. Um, this heart in a pants charm. Kind of funny. Um, palm tree with flexibility. The um, leaf here. Golden leaf. Excuse me one second. <coughs> I swallowed the wrong way. Okay. Then we got um, this red flower here. Red flower. Obviously a rose. Where's my head at? And then we also got a unicorn. Okay. So I'm going to interpret these all together. All right. So again, with the lock charm, this person really does have the key to your heart. Okay. It's going to be so instant. This person really does have the key to your heart. They're very wise. They're very nice. They don't, th they don't think with their pants. You know what I mean? But they do love with their pants, you know? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But they don't think, but they don't think, um, you know, with their pants. So that's a good thing. We also have the, um, the palm tree charm. So this person is going to be very flexible. They're going to be very sweet. You guys could like to spend time outdoors together, time traveling, of course. You're going to know this person is just going to be, you know, a part of your divine plan with this golden leaf charm here. Um, you know, you're just going to meet them and kind of know like this is, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. There's also going to be a lot of romance in this connection. This connection is very, very special. It's unique. Okay. There's going to be a lot of romance, possibly a lot of traveling, a lot of seeing new places. It's just going to be this gorgeous, like walk into the sunset. Like I'm surprised the sun card isn't here because this is how fantastic it is. And I knew this pile is going to be really, really good. Alrighty, so I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please give it a thumbs up if you have not already. I'd really appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So be sure to come back for that. Um, of course, we have the OG reading coming up in just a second. So just hold on. Hold your horses. Um, we are going to, going to be talking about what will the dynamic between you and this person be like. And also when you'll meet them. Okay, so... Be sure to stick, stick around for that. For those of you who want a personal reading from me, I would love to help you out. Go ahead and look at my description box below. That's where I have my services and my testimonials links. And those are real, unprovoked, actual reactions from uh, about my readings from my actual clients, okay, that I've got permission to post. So yeah, go ahead and check that out if you'd like to. I will talk to you guys in the next one, okay? Love and light. Bye.
Hello my OGs who say to the very end of the video, I'm so happy to have you all here today. I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. To one very special OG out there, um, thanks so much for sending in this uh, suggestion. I really enjoyed making this video today and as soon as I saw your email, I knew that I had to make this video. So yes, very special shout out to my OG out there uh, and thank them because they are the reason this video exists now. So so thanks so much. Anyway, um, so of course this is the OG reading, so we're going to be talking about um, a different subject than the main video. This one's going to be what will the dynamic between you and this person be like, and also when you're going to meet them. So I have my Modern Witch Tarot cards here. I got the dice on deck, the eight-sided die, and I also have my uh, Wedge cards. I'm going to be using in this reading. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get into it. What will the dynamic between you and your future spouse be like for my OGs? What will the dynamic in their marriage be like for my OGs and their future spouse? What will the dynamic between the, my OGs and their future spouse be like? What will the dynamic between my OGs and their future spouse? Okay, nine of wands. What will the dynamic six of wands? Ooh, that's good. What will the dynamic between my OGs and their future spouse be like? What will the dynamic between my OGs and their future spouse be like? The Hierophant in reverse. What will the dynamic between my OGs and their future spouse? The King of Cups in reverse. That's quite interesting. We also have the sun here at the bottom of the deck, so that's very nice. So overall, everything is very sunny between you two. I feel like you two get along, you know, for the most part, pretty well. Um, there, I mean, love relationships has problems, right? But for the most part, you guys get along really, really well. You guys can um, handle, you know, problems together. There's a lot of respect in the relationship, a lot of fun in the relationship. Let's go ahead and get into these cards, though. So we have the nine of wands. I'm feeling like you two have this very strong bond with one another, okay? This is kind of like, you two could go on Survivor together, you could go on um, one of those shows that you're basically thrown to the wild because you have this really strong connection, okay? It's not you and them against the world because, you know, like, that's not the best dynamic to have, but I really do feel like you two look out for each other and this person would like throw hands for you. Just know that. Just know, just know that, okay? Um, then we have the six of wands here. I do feel like when you two do get into arguments though, I feel like they're always successful in the end. You know, both parties are happy. No one goes to bed angry. Um, and both, both people feel like they've been heard in the relationship, which is really, really good, okay? I love that this came out right afterwards because this talks about you know, there being a success even when there is uh, quarrels, okay? Then we have the hair of it in reverse. It talks about being non-traditional, okay? You two could be a non-traditional couple. Um, I don't even know what traditional even means these days because we have so many different types of amazing people. But yeah, I'm getting that you two are going to be non-traditional, um, you know, kind of just an interesting pair. It also lets you go about life in a non-conventional way. So maybe you travel a ton, uh, maybe you have an interesting business or, um, you know, you have a non-profit. I, I don't know. But you go about life in an interesting way with this person, okay? And a lot of people um, kind of look at that and they're maybe even confused by it, but it works for you too, you know? Okay, then we have the King of Cups in reverse. Um, I'm feeling like this person, you know, there's one thing this person might need to work on though, and it is about like being open with their emotions. Uh, I'm just gonna get real with you. It seems like this person like might need to like have some, like a little bit of like prying when it comes to how they feel about things. It's something that's bad, you know, obviously you're married to this person, so like it wasn't really an issue, like it wasn't the biggest issue. Um, it kind of helps sometimes because when you guys are both in a tough situation, they could be the rock for you. So that's part of it. Um, they don't let their emotions like sweep away from them. They know what, they know what they're feeling. They're not shut off emotionally, but they kind of just want to guard you from feeling like, you know, down because they're feeling down that kind of thing you know um so the one thing that you guys might like work on together is like having this person open up to you more and having them feel like, they're, like their emotions are not a burden but that's kind of like really sweet that you guys can do that kind of healing work together i feel like that's why um spirit is kind of saving it for you two together because it's a very vulnerable very sensitive thing for this person and it's kind of like seeing them at their soft side which is kind of nice this person has a real a real soft side um that they hide because they don't want to burden people with their emotions which is like 
oh, you know, like open up. Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the white cards here. What will the dynamic between my OGs and their future spouse be like? Oh, okay, what do we got? I'm sorry for hurting you, okay? I'm sorry for you like an option. That's really interesting. I, I'm not getting this person going to actually do those things. But what I'm getting is that this person is okay with saying I'm sorry, okay? That's, that's realistic for a marriage, you know? Not everything's going to be happy and dandy all the time. But the thing is, this person is going to be able to apologize for things. They're going to be able to self-analyze themselves and tell you what's really going on from your perspective, okay? They're actually going to be able to empathize with you and, you know, apologize for things when it is their fault, you know, honestly, and actually take responsibility for their actions and their impact as well. So that's really great, actually. That's really great is what I'm getting. I want to get to know more about you. Okay, this person is always going to want to learn more about you. This person is going to want to learn more about the world with you. Again, I'm seeing the traveling. Okay, they want to see you in different environments. They want to see you in different outfits. I'm just kidding. But yeah, yeah, they, they want to see you in lots of different scenarios and like kind of observe you and get to know you even more. Okay, they know that you can expand and grow. They want to see all of you that there is, which is really gorgeous. They kind of think of you like a beautiful blooming flower. Okay, one more. What will the dynamic between my OGs and their future spouse be like? Oh, the dynamic between my OGs and their future spouse be like. Okay, we have obstacles, blocks, restraint, attachment, change of perspective is needed. Okay, I don't want you guys to get nervous when you see this card because we just talked about what that block is, okay? Which is again that this person is a little bit blocked off when it comes to their emotions, okay? They don't want to burden anybody. They don't want to um, you know, make it more difficult for people. And this isn't just like toxic masculinity, because toxic masculinity can affect people of any gender, okay? Anybody who identifies um, you know, anybody who has masculine energy can can take on toxic masculinity. So, you know, I don't want to make it gendered, of course. But yeah, um, this person is, has a little bit of an obstacle when it comes to opening up. And a change of perspective is needed, okay? They're too attached to that... Uh, they're too attached just to see me like they don't need any help, okay? So that's what kind of you come in. You guys can, like, work on that together. That's what I'm really getting. Um, but don't worry about the um, sorries and the obstacles. I'm really getting that this person just has a lot of integrity. You know, they're very sweet. They're very, very kind. Um, but they also want to seem like they're strong for you. And they can handle things, you know. Um, so it might come off, you know. So, so it might cause some issues here and there. But it's nothing that you guys can't like you know something to really like work through too much it's kind of something that you guys are it's gonna bring you guys closer together if that makes sense okay all right all right so well, that's about that let's go ahead and get into the die we're gonna wrap it up here with this die this dice okay it's only one it's only one dice so it's obviously dice okay so when will my ogs meet this person months or weeks or years i guess but when will my ogs meet this person most likely option eight okay i like oh, it's kind of funny that we got the largest number because there's probably so many of you watching and it's difficult to say you know who's gonna get you know which number but eight okay the for some of you this is gonna be eight weeks eight months um i really doubt it's gonna be eight years okay so eight weeks eight months how many years for some for somebody who's doing years how many years might it take six Okay, I kind of doubt that. I would say like six months, but I guess it could be six years for some of you who are really young watching my videos. Like if you're like 13, okay, it's probably gonna be six years. <laughs> okay, so just know that. But we're getting eight for um for most of you guys. So yeah, eight months, eight weeks, um, possibly six years for some of you who are really, really young. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I hope I, I didn't disappoint you too much with that last message. But um, yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to drop a star emoji if you are still here. Um, I love to see my OGs at the very end of the video. So make sure to drop a star emoji so I know who my OGs are. I always reply to all the star emojis. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, love and light. Bye. Oh.